look at um, making objects, uh, you know, having them be a material and inventor. So there are two kind of two things here we're going to do. So the first one is just to set the whole material object. So this here, this first drop down up the top of the screen is the material. Okay, so we have nothing selected here. And essentially we can change the material for the entire, um, for the entire object, okay? So what we're gonna do up on the right one, we're gonna clear override here. Okay, so notice there are two drop downs. The first one is, is the material. The second one is the override of the appearance of the material, okay? So, so let's say that I make, uh, let's say that I wanna make this copper, okay? Notice that on the override of the copper, notice that there is a, there's a couple different types of copper, right? So I can override the appearance for pol then I can have polished copper, right? Now, um, so if I go into like the stress analysis tool, the, this material is what is going to be calculated here, okay? So what I can do is I can do stuff like have it be LPT plastic, but then notice how it doesn't change, right? I have to go back here and clear override, right? And then essentially set for example, rubber, or go back to LCP plastic, right? Uh, and then I can go ahead and override this. So let's say that, whoops, let's say that I want to go, let's say I'm going to print something, so I want it to be, um, ABS plastic, right? And then I'd go here and I would, uh, I would uh, scroll up. something like red, something like that. Okay, so I can override the, um, the uh, look of that ABS plastic. Say if I'm printing something, this might be a good way for me to see what color I'm gonna print it in or something like that, okay? Okay, so let's take another look at a different way to do this. So we kind of get that this is the material that we're selecting, and then this is the look of the material, okay? Um, so if you don't really care, I mean, you can have it on the default material, right? You can just put generic, right? And then you can just adjust the look of it, okay, if you're not going to be doing anything else with it. All right, so let's go ahead, and there's a second way to do this, though, and that is by just coloring different parts of the object. So let's say that you want to make, and it goes by surfaces, right? So let's say you want the ball, and we're going to control click here to add more surfaces, and the top. So notice that all of those surfaces are now selected. I control, I click the ball, then I control click the rest of the surfaces. And now what I can do is I can go, notice that the material I can't select, right? Okay. But I can select the look of it, right? So let's say that I want to make that um, machined aluminum here, okay? And then once I click off of it, I can change the actual material that it's made out of, right? So I can adjust the material when nothing else is selected, all right? And then what I can do is I can go back in and I can select the rest of the faces here. Okay. And I can basically go in and then I can say, say that I want to choose uh, polished aluminum. Okay. Oops, didn't work too well. Let's see, we want to change it to something more apparent that we changed it. So we changed it to birch. Okay, so so this is it. So basically, you can uh, you can essentially color. It makes your it makes the stuff that you're making just really really look more realistic, and it kind of gives you a sense of what the things are going to look like in the end. Obviously, it's not perfect, but it it does give you a sense of what things are going to look like, and the material itself is very useful for things like stress analysis. Okay, uh, good luck.